First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith. Just want to get into a quick video about how merciful the Most High is and how simple He made it for us, even in these chains of darkness, in this defiled body. Like, when He said that the laws is not grievous, He's not lying, man. And, um, Proverbs 16 and 6, by mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. And by the fear of Yahweh, men depart from evil. Now, being in this wicked kingdom and just being in the situations that we in in this wicked kingdom, you know, when it comes to high holy days and things like that, some men ain't able to keep them all the time, you know. But that's why he gave us a way of, you know, if you can keep it, keep it, but don't get down in the spirit if you don't, you know, because if you out here, you know, rehearsing the righteous acts to the best of your ability, you know, which he asked for, then you're going to make it. But he even made it even more simple by, you know, the, um, the disciples actually asked you how was shy. What is it? You know? Like, what, what, what's the greatest commandments, which I'm going to get next. So, he said, by mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. So, by mercy, which I'm about to get now. What is that? Matthew 22. Get to 36. Yep. So, the disciples said, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Now which I say unto him, thou shalt love thy Lord, thy power, with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. So, you're not going to be... What, what was the first commandment that he gave us when he pulled us out of Egypt? Serve no other God before me. Okay? So, serving other gods is something... As in, if you want to celebrate Christmas and Halloween and Easter and Thanksgiving, like, them is all idols and pagan. So, you know, when you celebrate these other holidays, that's serving another God, you know? And the second one is, <clears throat> verse 39, and the second is like unto it that shall not, oh, <laughs> and the second is like unto it, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang up all the law and the prophets. So, if you love the Lord, you're going to do the best that you can. And you only can do the best that you can. Every man who esteemed himself to be, you know, righteous. You know what I'm saying? Like, say if you was a person who were able to keep all the high holy days perfect, you know, you keeping all the Sabbath days and things like that. If even your, your righteousness is as filthy rags. So that's why I say in Proverbs 16 and six, by mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. So what is that mercy, man? Loving thy neighbor as you love thyself, man. You know, and it said, by mercy and truth, you know, iniquity is purged. So what is that, that, that truth? When you go to Revelation 14 and 5, it tells you, this is how we're going to get out of here. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of the Most High. Okay? So when you out, when you out here on the highways and broadways preaching the, the true doctrine, sticking to the script, when you making these sit down, stick it to the doctrine, stick it to the script. That's when your mouth is found on guile. You preaching the truth, man. So he said, how is we going to overcome? Like even when you keep the um, day of atonement. Yahweh Shai is the atonement. He died on the cross for us. He was the sacrifice for us. You know what I'm saying? Do that mean that you don't keep the, the, the day of atonement if you can? No. Keep it. But just know that Yahweh Shai 
He left it all on a cross, man, for the elect first and then the rest of Israel, man. So that's the grace and mercy. You got to think about that. And that's why I'm going back to the beginning, how he made it so simple, even in these defiled bodies, man. Even in these defiled bodies, he made it simple for us. Now, when you go to Revelation 12 and 11, it say, and they overcame him. Who? Esau, Edom, by the blood of the lamb. Yahweh Shah sacrificed himself on the cross and the word of their testimony. What is that? Preaching is truth and truth is spirit. And they love not their lives unto death. What do it say? If thou shalt lose thy life, thou shalt. I'm gonna have to get that because I don't want to. I don't want to butcher that scripture, you know. But um, but yeah. So like in Proverbs eight and nine, it say that it, he that uh, is plain to him who get of understanding, and right unto him who find of knowledge. So it's plain to us if the Most High is dealing with you, like. The Bible, it got so many scriptures talking about not giving over that mind over to heaviness. You know what I'm saying? You can't be thinking like that. You always got to be thinking forward. The most high know your spirit. He knows your attentions. Okay. And he know that you're fighting. So don't think about, you know, all the bad things that could happen. Think about the good things that he said. Okay. And that's why I say. You know, woe unto them who are faint hearted for they do not believe. So therefore they shall not be defended. But that, I'm getting off the subject, but back to the, you know, how he made it so easy for us. So by loving our brother, man, and preaching his truth, that is accounted righteousness unto us, man. And is them the only literally two things that you have to do? No. Okay. But if you love the Lord, which was the first commandment, you're going to do what he asked of you. OK, and that's why when, that's why he told the disciples that. And that's why he said that his laws is not grievous. They're not. So. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives un, unto the death, man. Now, when you go to first Peter's four. And eight to ten. And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. Use hop hospitality one to another without grudging. As every man have received a gift, even so minister the same one to another. This is a gift that he gave us, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We're supposed to be exhorting each other and, as I say, ministering to one of each other. We're supposed to be building each other up, giving each other courage and faith. You know, as good stewards of the manifold grace of the most high, you know, so to sum it up, it, it, it them two commandments right there, you know, you got to you have a great ass chance of making it, man. And like I said, like, I, I just love. The most high because he had grace and mercy upon me because before I came into this truth, man, I was a nigga, nigga, man. You know, the typical nigga, man, the niggas that we talk bad about right now. And I think that's why I had so much hatred towards them, because I hate the person. When I came into this truth, I hate the person that I once was. You know, and so that's why I have like a serious hatred for what you would call a two third, even though we don't know who the two third, they can always repent, you know, so. You know, so he he made it simple for us. He told us how we can oh he's he told us how we could overcome, you know, by the word of our testimony. He ain't say by how many Sabbath days you keep or how many high holy days you keep, you know. And um but just to prove that, you know. I mean, Paul said, you know, I tell the truth in your shall Mashiach, I lie not. So Colossians 2 and 16 and 17. <clears throat> Let no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink or in the respect of a high holy day. Or of the new moon or of the Sabbath days, which are a shadow of things to come. But the body is of Hamashiach. OK. 
And that's that's a beautiful thing because if you are in a situation where you're not able to keep those things all the time, you know, then guess what? That's where that grace come from. That's where the grace come from. The most high know what type of hell that we in. Some of us don't even have our own house. Some of us live under a woman. You know what I'm saying? So you think you about to come into a woman's house that you live in. You probably been with her for a while. You know what I'm saying? Then you get into the truth or whatever. You know, you trying to tell her, but she really ain't on board. But now you trying to tell her like, nah, we keep it Sabbath days. Uh, the atonement day, the uh, you know what I'm saying, the, the Passover, all that, your ass gonna be homeless, you know. Like I said, everybody's situation different, but even in these bodies, it's hard to keep all the commandments, you know. Keep the ones that you can, you know. The things like you, it's not hard not to, uh, to keep the dietary law. It's not hard to keep the dietary law, man. It's not hard not to celebrate these different holidays, which have uh, which have gods associated to it. What was the first commandment he gave us? Serve not no other gods before me. Okay, for I am a jealous power. All right. So I hope this video was edifying. And matter of fact, I'm gonna get one more. What is that? Matter of fact, I might as well just get um. I got two, but just for the sake of time. I Man, I should get it anyway. Ain't like nobody watch my stuff. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Revelation 14 and 5. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of the Most High. Okay? So that's how, by mercy and truth, iniquity is purged, man. And that's what we, we're all filthy. Our, our righteousness has filthy rags. Okay? We need the sure mercies of David. It say in Psalms 130 and 3, if iniquity was marked, who shall stand? Okay? So the Most High gave us the, the word of our testimony is going to get us out of here and rehearsing the righteous acts to the rehearse rehearsing the righteous acts to the best of our ability is going to get us out of here. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect. Lord willing, you see me on another video.